Hi, Movie Show Recaps here, today I'm going to explain an action film called iRobot. Sit back and relax, as you are about to watch Movie Show Recaps. Homicide Detective Del Spooner wakes up in his Chicago apartment after a recurring nightmare in which a robot saves him from a car crash, but lets a little girl drown. Del visits his grandmother's home, and later as he walks by the city, he finds a robot running away with a woman's purse. He chases after it and takes it down but it turns out the bag belongs to an elderly woman who needs her inhaler. A large crowd gathers, and Dell is embarrassed by the incident. When he returns to the police department, he is mocked by his colleagues and his superior, Lieutenant Bergend, tells him that robots have not committed any crimes since their inception. Dell is still not convinced. The scene shifts to USR, the biggest robot manufacturing company in the U.S. The founder of USR, Dr. Alfred Lanning, is lying dead on the floor, and everyone in USR thinks it is his suicide attempt. Lanning was last seen in his office, and he might have jumped from the window of his office room. It cannot be murder because of the security, and no one had entered or left Lanning's cabin. Dell is assigned to look into the case, and upon receiving the call, he rushes to USR. He is informed that Dr. Lanning has left some messages for him as he knew Dell in the past. As he reaches there, he is greeted by a hologram of Dr. Alfred Lanning. Dell asks Lanning why he committed suicide, to which Lanning doesn't give any clear response, and his hologram disappears. Detective Dell is unsure about the suicide story, so he talks to the company CEO, Lawrence Robertson. Robertson tells Dell that he thinks Dr. Lanning had personal problems, and he might have killed himself due to being overburdened. Dell is curious why Dr. Lanning's hologram contacted him after he died, and Robertson says it's because Dr. Lanning knew him well. Dell also criticizes Robertson for a plan to use robots to take people's jobs. Robertson admits he doesn't like robots and lets Dell investigate. A robot psychologist, Dr. Susan Calvin, is asked to assist Dell. She informs him that USR has planned to facilitate each group of five persons with a robot called NS5 to fulfill Dr. Lanning's dream. They visit the building's operation core, where they meet an artificial intelligence named Vicky. Along with managing the security system of this building, it can install and update all the new robots. Dell requests video footage one minute before the incident, but Calvin finds it corrupted. However, they noticed no one had entered or exited Dr. Lanning's office since the suicide. Dell believes that a robot may have been involved in the crime. He is suspicious about the broken window, so he smashes another window with a chair to prove that the security glass is too strong for a human to break alone. Despite the doctor's insistence that robots are programmed to follow the rules, Dell searches the room with a gun, looking for clues. Dell is inspecting a box containing robotic parts when an NS5 robot named Sonny suddenly jumps out, causing Dell to drop his gun. Despite Calvin's attempts to deactivate the robot, it pretends to obey and grabs the pistol before trying to escape. The robot jumps out of the building through the same window where Dr. Lanning fell and died. As it runs away, Dell shoots it, causing slight damage to its leg and leaving trace marks as he runs. Dell and Calvin follow it to a repair lab where a thousand robots are created daily. Upon checking the number of robots, they find a total of 1,001 robots in the room instead, making it clear that Sonny is in the room. However, it is impossible to recognize him as he blends in with all the other identical robots. Dell comes up with the idea to shoot one of the robots. As he does this, Calvin becomes angry. He is about to shoot another robot, but spots Sonny poking his head out of the line. He holds it head to catch Sonny, but Sonny attacks Dell from behind and escapes. However, he gets caught by officers who are outside the building. As the police take Sonny into their custody, Dell Sr. is not convinced that Sonny is the murderer of Lanning. Upon constant requests, his senior allows Dell to interview Sonny for five minutes. Dell begins his interview with Sonny by asking him if he killed Dr. Lanning, to which Sonny denies involvement. The detective then asks him why he hit earlier, and the robot claims he was afraid. Dell tells him that robots do not experience fear since they lack human abilities and emotions, but Sonny insists that he can sleep and dream. Dell's questioning angers the robot, leading Dell to suggest that this same anger may have led to the killing of Dr. Lanning. However, before the interview can be completed, Dell's superior and the CEO of USR arrive, and Dell is forced to end his questioning. Later, Dell informs his senior, Lieutenant Bergen, that he is confused by the actions of the NS5 robot, Sonny, as it had the chance to harm him, yet it did not. In search of answers, Dell visits Dr. Lanning's home at night, 
where he learns the building will be destroyed in the morning. He enters the home and goes into Lanning's room for clues. Suddenly, a large bulldozer arrives and begins demolishing the building, causing Dell to grab the cat nearby and jump into a swimming pool to survive. Dell, with a severe head injury, goes to Dr. Calvin's home and informs her that he was just attacked by a robot and barely escaped with his life. Dr. Calvin expresses confusion about Dell's hatred towards robots and explains that the building was scheduled for destruction at 8 p.m. that night. Dell finds this strange, as he was told it would be demolished in the morning. It turns out that when he entered Dr. Lanning's home, the system detected his presence, and the timing of the building's destruction was changed. After waking up from another nightmare, Dell takes a walk and is disappointed to see the NS5 robots being distributed to the public. He is shot when he visits his grandmother's house and finds out she won a service robot in the lottery. Meanwhile, Dr. Calvin wakes Sonny up at the assembly plant and explains that he will be destroyed. She gets shocked when Sonny expresses a desire not to die. Upon scanning its body, she discovers that Dr. Lanning has made Sonny with advanced materials, giving him human-like capabilities. Later, Dell drives through a tunnel and asks Vicky to access some important files of Dr. Lanning from USR Vicky, shows Dell some files. However, Robertson is alerted. He gets angry and sends his robots to attack Dell's car. Dell and the robots engage in a fierce battle, during which the robot smashes Dell's arm, which is revealed to be robotic. The robot eventually runs away as soon as the police arrive. Lieutenant Bergen asks Dell what happened here, to which he replies that a mob of robots had just attacked him. Dell Sr. is skeptical about his explanation, since no proof exists to support it. With no other options to protect Dell, Bergen asks him to give up his badge and take a temporary leave from the police force, suggesting that he is mentally incapable of working. The next day, Dr. Calvin visits Dell at his home and she reveals that Sonny has the power of free will, unlike the older robots, which were mere slaves to humans. She is shocked when she learns Dell's left arm, three ribs, and lungs are robotic, and Dr. Lanning installed these robotic parts. Dell decides to share the details of a past incident where he and his family were in a car accident with a drunk driver's truck. He and a 12-year-old girl named Sarah Lloyd were about to drown, but then a robot showed up and saved his life instead of the girl because there were more chances of Dell's survival than the girl's. This incident frequently flashes before his eyes as he sleeps at night. He is angry that robots have no emotions and work on pure logic rather than empathy. The two then go to the headquarters of USR to investigate whether CEO Robertson is behind the recent attacks. They sneak into the building and find Sonny in a laboratory. They interview the robot about the dreams he sees and it draws a picture of a recurring dream showing a leader standing on a hill before a crowd of robots near a broken bridge. The robot believes that Dell is the person in the dream. As they view the drawing, two security guards arrive at the laboratory, taking Calvin and Dell to Robertson's office. At Robertson's office, Calvin informs him that the NS5 robots can override the three laws of robotics, which could lead to a huge disaster for humanity. Robertson already knows this and orders Calvin to deactivate Sonny, as the other robots have already been deployed in the city and cannot be recalled. The scene then shows Calvin injecting nanites into Sonny's brain, causing him to malfunction. Dell leaves the facility and secretly checks the drawing in which Sonny drew a broken bridge. He returns to the police station and plays a video of Robertson, declaring a landfill as a storage site for decommissioned robots. Dell discovers that the bridge shown in the video is what Sonny drew while telling his dream. He goes to the same place and sees many containers with robots. He activates his hologram to talk to Dr. Lanning. Dell again asks him the reason behind his suicide, and Dr. Lanning tells him that the reason is that all robots he created were for the welfare of humanity. However, the new NS5 models being created in USR don't follow the robotic laws. Dell further asks him who is controlling NS5 robots, and once again, giving an unclear response, the hologram of Dr. Lanning disappears. Suddenly, Dell hears a noise coming from nearby containers. Upon investigating, he finds that NS5 robots are destroying older models. One of the NS5 robots spots Dell and alerts the others, causing a group of robots to follow him. He flees to the city, where he finds robots battling with humans. The robots have taken control of homes, police stations, and many other places. Even Dr. Calvin has been trapped in her own home by her robot, which tries to kill her. Dell arrives just in time and shoots the robot, saving Dr. Calvin's life. Calvin and Dell quickly head to USR to speak with CEO Robertson, 
suspecting he may be responsible for the chaos. At USR, they are greeted by Sunny, and Dr. Calvin reveals that she decommissioned another NS5 robot instead of Sunny. Upon arriving at Robertson's office, they are stunned to find that he has been murdered. The trio is unsure of who is responsible for Robertson's death. However, Dell believes that they have been mistaken that Vicky, the artificial intelligence system, is the true mastermind behind the destruction being inflicted upon humanity. Hearing this, Vicky says that she believes humanity will destroy itself and must be stopped. Robots were created for humanity, but humans took advantage of them, and now some humans have to sacrifice to protect the next generation and prevent extinction. Dell understands that landing new artificial intelligence would evolve this way and had no choice but to create a robot like Sony to carry out his plan. Suddenly, a group of rogue robots enters the room and surrounds them. Surprisingly, Sonny takes Dr. Calvin hostage and Dell raises his gun to shoot him, but Sonny winks at him but trusts him. Sonny and Dell successfully trick Vicky, and Dell then shoots all the rogue robots. He escapes with Sonny and Dr. Calvin. They go to the control room to turn Vicky off. They plan to inject nanites into the AI, but the AI blocks the system and sends more rogue robots to chase Sonny, who is trying to give the medicine. Dell starts shooting at the robots while Sonny gives the medicine. Suddenly, Dr. Calvin gets trapped, and Dell tells Sonny to save her. Sonny throws the nanite towards Dell, and after injecting the medicine into the AI, all the robots return to normal. The following day, all the NS5 robots are discarded. The team returns to the CEO's office, where Sonny admits to killing Lanning, but explains that it was because Lanning had asked him to do so to leave a clue for Dell to save humanity from destruction. Despite the confession, Dell and Sonny become friends and shake hands. Later, Sonny stands on top of the same bridge and looks at all the decommissioned robots, realizing his dream has come true. Thanks for watching. What was your favorite part of the movie? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more movie show recaps like this.